In this video, I'm going to explain what an Ethereum gas is and why you need to specify a gas limit and gas price when you make a transaction. When a Solidity contract is compiled, it is converted into a sequence of operation codes, also known as opcodes. Opcodes are referenced by their mnemonic names, such as add for addition or mul for multiplication. All opcodes and their descriptions are available in the Ethereum yellow paper. This is the yellow paper written by Gavin Wood. In Appendix G, you will find the fee schedule. For example, if you apply the SHA-3 operation, it requires 30 gas units. A few side notes. Bytecodes are similar to opcodes, but are represented by hexadecimal numbers. The Ethereum virtual machine executes the bytecodes. Here is an example Solidity contract. And here are the opcodes. And here's the bytecode. I have copied these opcodes in a text file, and each of these opcodes has a specific gas unit assigned. For example, if you execute this function, each of these statements requires an X number of gas. Each opcode has a fixed amount of gas assigned and is a measure of computational effort. For example, add requires three gas units. Calculating SHA-256 requires 60 gas units. Gas is the execution fee paid by the sender of the transaction that triggered the computation. By default, the minimum gas limit for all transactions is 21,000 gas. Sending Ether from one account to another requires 21,000 gas. Interacting with a smart contract requires 21,000 gas plus all executed opcodes gas. Let's use MetaMask to send Ether from one account to another. Logging in. I'm using the Rinkeby test network. This is account 1 and I'm going to send 0.1 Ether to another account. This is the other account. Sending 0.1 Ether. This is the gas limit which is set to 31,501 gas units. But if you transfer Ether from one account to another, you only need 21,000 gas units. Let's try this. MetaMask is giving a warning. The minimum gas limit is 21,000. There's also an upper limit around 4.5 million gas units. This upper limit is the block gas limit. All right, let's set it to 21,000 and see if this transaction will be executed. It's now pending. The transaction is executed. Press this icon. This is the gas limit which I have set, and this is the actual gas used by this transaction. Let's try it again to the same account, same amount. This is a gas limit set by MetaMask. It is the minimum gas limit of 21,000 plus 50% on top of it. Let's leave this value as it is, and now press the Submit button. All right, let's click this icon. This is the gas limit which we have set, but this is the actual gas used by the transaction. This is my demonstration Ethereum DEP, and this is the Solidity contract the web interface is interacting with. I want to execute this function, set stored value. This function will receive an integer and it will be stored in this state variable. And that is this function. I'm entering the value one and pressing the store button. MetaMask has set the gas limit to 40,159 gas units. Let's leave it as it is and press the submit button. Let's check the transaction. 
This was the gas limit set by MetaMask. And this is the actual gas used. That is 26,772 gas units. This value consists of the minimum gas limit for all transactions, which is 21,000 gas, plus the executed opcode gas, which is 5,727. Let's check if the stored value was changed. I'm pressing this button, get stored value. As you can see, the value is changed to 1. Let's change this value to 5. Pressing the store button, change the gas limit to 25,000. But I know that it requires more gas to execute this transaction. Now press the submit button. This is a transaction. Let's check it. As you can see, I've specified the gas limit of 25,000, but the gas use is 25,000, which means that this transaction has failed because the gas use is the same as the gas limit. Let's check it. I've set the value to 5. If I press the get stored value, it still displays the value of 1, which means that the value has not been changed. This means that if you Specify a gas limit which is lower than the actual gas used. The transaction will fail. The operation will be reverted, but you will still pay for the actual gas used, which is 25,000 in this case. For users, it is impossible to know how much gas a transaction will actually require. When executing a transaction, a user can specify the maximum amount of gas it is willing to spend on the transaction. This can be done in the gas limit field. If the transaction is executed but it exceeds the gas limit, all changes are reversed, but the user will still have to pay for the performed computation, which is the gas limit. If the transaction is executed but requires less gas than the gas limit, the user will only pay for the actual gas used. It is not recommended to specify a large gas limit. If you interact with a smart contract and the contract contains a bug, you may exceed your gas limit. The total fee is a total amount of gas used times the gas price. The gas price is not fixed. The user decides which gas price it is willing to pay in gigaway per gas. The current gas price can be found at ethstats.net. This is ethstats.net, and here you can see the current gas price. Miners prefer transactions with a higher fee. Transactions with a lower fee will take longer to be included in a block. If I use MetaMask to transfer Ether from one account to another, I set the gas price here. As you can see, it is now set to 20 gigaway per gas, and I can increase or decrease it. Side note, a block also has a gas limit field. It defines the maximum amount of gas all transactions in the block combined are allowed to consume. This block gas limit determines the maximum number of transactions within the block. This block gas limit is not fixed. The block gas limit is set by miners. If the block gas limit is increased, more transaction fees they will get but the more bandwidth and computing they would have to do. Previously, I've shown you where you can find the current gas price. But I forgot to mention that I'm using the Rinkeby testnet, as you can see over here. If you want to find the current gas price of the Rinkeby testnet, then go to www.rinkeby.io. And here you will find the current gas price. And this is the current block gas limit. It is set around 4.7 million gas. If I change the gas limit, set it to 2 for instance, this is the block gas limit I've mentioned earlier. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.